No. It's all very well going after that metal-faced Mechon. But shouldn't we have some kind of plan? How about checking out Colony 6? Colony 6? The only other Homs colony left. Colony 6 is on the way to Sword Valley, where there's supposed to be a Mechon base. If that's where they came from, maybe the people in Colony 6 saw something. Good point. They might even know something about that metal-faced Mechon. So... We go past the Magmel Ruins and up through Tefra Cave. Then we should arrive at the Bionis Knee. Yeah. And if we can get to the Knee, it ain't far to Colony 6, right? Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Colony 6. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This is Episode 6. I'm Xenogeno Matt. Last time... We faced down a whole bunch of Mechon, finally fighting them off, or at least they just left. But we've endured some heavy losses on our side. This time, before I go further, I want to check out some of these quests that I have. A lot of them are generic side quests, like collection, material. Got a couple unique ones, Curry Conundrum, Education Minded Susanna, Broken Watch. I suppose they'll be done when they get done for now, or, you know what, maybe I should explore a little bit more around Colony 9 before heading out to Tefra Cave and beyond. We'll be coming back here occasionally. There's a couple of things that need to be taken care of. Speaking of things that need to be taken care of, how's our Collectopedia coming? Oh, we got a dance apple. A red apple that's perfect for parties, really gets things moving. Now let's check our equipment. Ooh, Pistis Cap is an example of whenever there's a U in the uh, right next to the armor, that means I'm not sure what it means. Is it unique? Ultra? Something like that. I was thinking of it as ultra. But anyway, those come with unequipable or not unequipable, un unremovable. Irremovable gems like this ether up two that'll be on Shulk that cannot be removed. Other than that, we got a nine top, a light top looks better. Colony cuffs, strength up two on ga uh, graft gauntlets, not bad. Caravan gauntlets, it's pretty good. And light bottoms. I'm sure this would be colony type that he'd be wearing so let's go with uh let's go with this style there we go now we've got blue shulk bloke i forgot to do it for ryan uh change equipment let's go over to ryan these soldier pikes that's a million Driver. Let's go with the Soldier Pike. Three gem slots, that's really good. Strength up, HP up, because he's our tank. Give him the car uh, caravan gear. Give him those graph gauntlets. Battle leggings for up to his two. 
messenger boots are always really good. I might just slap those on and everyone can use some agility. So yeah, Colony 9 is huge. I'll be going to the shore all the way over there. Uh, what's the fastest way to get there, actually? There are a couple changes. More quests will have opened now that the the attack has happened. So there's plenty more side quests to do. As you can see, if I pull up the map, all these exclamation points, and that's just during the day. It's a lot more at night, too. Along with the attack, that small gap has now opened in the bridge there, making it quicker to access areas like this anti-air battery right over here. Cool potato. Neat. Oh, lovely day for a swim, I suppose. They added an auto-run feature to Definitive Edition, so just by clicking up on the D-pad here, I can just move on over to this. Is this a blue chain? Oh, it's a dance apple. Hmm. Forgot I needed those. Anyway, here's Agora Shore. We got a stone crabble here for a quest. Let's take him out. Oh, he hasn't a chance. Backslash. There you go. Achievement right. Let's do this. I believe that's for using a hundred of Shulk's art. We got some plain arm moves over there. Those are level 35. Don't want to be messing with them just yet. I believe there's like a level 39 unique enemy just over there beyond the corner up ahead to the right. Oh yeah, this stone crab is done. I really wish there was a fast travel point here, but unfortunately the fastest way to get over here looks like just fast traveling to the center pillar over there and then just jumping down and swimming. For discovering new areas and landmarks, you also get XP. And later on we'll be encountering secret areas. Those give a lot of XP. Throne Sardi are here at Hazai Cape, level 70, and we are level 12. Oh god. No, 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 Here we are. Iron Bunner. Oh. At least they're quick to take down. Gather some collectibles while I'm at it. Looks like our next objective is right beyond this door. Oh wait, actually. Now that the attack has happened, there's some Hello. side quests we can get here. Oh, you're just in time. I think my partner went to check out the cylinder hanger. I'm worried he's not back yet. Doesn't sound good. Ah. Didn't you see strange machines there where the mechon attacked? I'm really worried. Can you take a look for me? I'm really worried. Although if things turn nasty, you can always jump into the lake. But that's also pretty scary. Ryan, how about it? Won't you help out a defense force, buddy? Now these are the only unnamed NPCs in the game that have dialogue that uh, Hello. like party members can like talk to them, like step into conversations like Ryan just did. He's got another issue. He wants to collect arachno silk to sell stuff on the side for his sixth kid. Seeing his kids' faces really makes him want to work hard, want to give him a good life. What a good lad. 
All right. Let's head on forth. This door. It was closed when we came past before. But it's open now. Maybe it was programmed to open up in case of mech on emergency. The way to the bionist knee is just ahead. You ready? Yeah, let's go. And onwards through the new path. Now we're at the escape pod bay. Oh, hi. Here we got another Defense Force sol soldier. I'll take out some, or collect some kneecap rocks. Oh, hi. These are just some generic quests. Get two bright figs. Oh, hi. Already have one of those. Three broken pincers from Crabbles. Oh, hi. And one last one. One Brog smelling salt. Interesting. All right. An ether lamp. Don't traders use these things as guideposts? Yeah. We can follow them to the Bionis knee. Okay. But if armed traders need guideposts, it must be pretty dangerous in here. Let's keep our wits about us. Definitely. Oh, I suppose danger hasn't stopped us yet. Into Tefra Cave we go. There's Tefra Cavern. Ah, over here we have our first example of mineable ether crystals. Heading up to this. You can press A to examine. We got a small ice crystal. All right, didn't get any rare ones. And here's a landmark, the Spring of Grief. I'll take out some desert crabbles and talk a little bit about ether crystals. So ether crystals can be used to eventually turn them into ether gems, which I completely neglected because I completely forgot. But now that the colony has been attacked, there's a guy over in Colony 9 called the Gem Man. So you can return to him anytime you want to go craft some ether crystals. Or some gems, I mean, using ether crystals. Oh my gosh, that was really loud. I might just be because I have my volume way up. Get some bats here. Get out of here, Crabble. Wind bangs. Oh, even though they're not mech on, Buster should still do a good chunk of damage. Right, I don't have a healer, I am the healer. But yeah, basically, mine ether crystals and then forge them together to make gems that you can equip the characters. That's the basic idea of it. Got a blue bang wind. Small claw. I believe I need broken pincers. There they are. And that's a material quest done. Oh, he might have the brog smelling salts him after. Shadow Eye, Physical Arc Plus, as well as Aggro Down. Drop his physical defense. Just hope that Ryan goes in. Alrighty, that should be it. Backslash. And it looks like we will be getting those Brog smelling salts after all. We got a rare chest. Excellent. It is now nighttime. Here we have a bunch of worker arachnos. These are the first example of sound-based enemies. 
So if you're not moving really slow, they'll be able to detect your presence and they will lock onto you and start a fight. Of course, just like with vision enemies, these guys will not attack you if you are five levels higher than them. They know better. They drop Arachno Silk. So if we're lucky, we can get two more Arachno Silk really quickly. There's one. The rare chest will always drop the rare item. The wooden chests have a chance to drop it. Oh, neat. Two rare chests. That's pretty lucky. Oh. Got some ranger gloves. And a level up. What the? Look at the emblem. They're traders from Colony 6. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan, their injuries. They weren't made by no Mechon. It was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mechon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children. Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. But why'd you say that? Oh, no reason. Ryan, shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. That was way harder than I thought it'd be. I'm just about ready to collapse. Let's take a rest. If the monsters in here killed all these traders, we need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. Shulk, my turn. Awake already? Didn't sleep a wink. Oh, I still feel like I just did one of Vanguard's drills. <laughs> hey. Why do you think the Mechon attacked? Are we just food to them? Or what? Did we do something wrong? Sort of reminds me of the battle between the Bionis and the Mechonis. I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, it's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. Mechon killed Fiora. Yeah. You know what? I'll never forgive them. I don't care what their reason is. Hmm. When it happened, the Monado showed me that Fiora was in danger, but... I couldn't save her. It's not your fault. Just because the Monado showed you some future, that don't mean you could do anything about it. You did great. You fought them off. I couldn't have done that. <sighs> you know, I've been thinking about it. Why you can use the Monado, I mean. Dixon told me. You're a survivor from the Monado expedition team that went out 14 years ago. There was a blizzard or something, and your mum and dad died. And then Dixon found you and brought you back. That sounds right. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember anything. Is that why you do it? Why you're always helping Dixon with his research and trying to figure out the Monado? Maybe. Part of me does see it as something to remind me of my mum and dad. But mainly, if it really is the sword that the Bionis used to kill the Mechonis, like in the legend, I want to work out its secret. That's the real reason. I've 
got it. You were chosen by the Monado. What? Chosen? Don't you see? Not even Dunban can handle it. It ain't chance that you can and he can't. <laughs> I'll take the next watch. You get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Night, Ryan. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Ah. It is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? I... The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Shulk! Uh. Shulk! Uh. Uh. Ryan! Uh. Give us a hand! So we got a fight on our hands. A bunch of worker arachnos. Is there a ninja play? Okay, the good there is. For a sec I was like, I swear there's music in this fight. Oh my gosh, weird. Bleeding shock. Get out of here, big spiders. You're no match for my big light sword. I can still use chain attack, but unfortunately, we only have two people, and we did not get the extra chain attack. We have yet to get that. Let's just team up on this guy. Split edge. Physical defense down. There we go, get some burst affinity. Last one is the Rector Arachno, and he's about to get destroyed. Get him out of here! I'm sorry, Ryan. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Was I dreaming? What's with you? We'd better get a move on. a lot but things are starting to move along and right where we've returned those soldiers to the Bionis we got a whole bunch of collectibles let's check out our collectopedia see if there's anything we can fill in yep bright fig top class juicy fig that glows yellow can even be seen in the dark 
Night Tulip, a tulip that reflects a beautiful black light. Poison Defense 3 for that. Shin Newt, this black newt loves to be by clean water. Cave Rat, lives by water yet cannot swim. Has eerily slimy skin and red eyes. Shin Gecko, its suckered feet allow it to go anywhere. Has a lovely blue body. And with that category complete, we got the HP up 2 gem. Brown Butterfly, blends into the sky while in flight also known as Heaven's Teardrop. Gold Caterpillar, Insect Larva. Sparkles in shiny gold for only a few hours after hatching. We got Rumble Stonefly. It moves gracefully and sings sweetly. Very beautiful. For that category, we got Slow Resist 2. And with Strange, we have Leaf Mystery. Fiora delightedly named this, a fresh leaf that quietly glows. Oof. Well, this has aged quite well. I guess she delightfully named, delightedly named this previously. Yikes. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm gonna end things off here. Next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we'll be heading further into Tefra Cave, and hopefully we'll be arriving at the Bionis Knee soon. See you guys then.